Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now, this is the show we're going to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, today we're going to talk about add ons in Internet Explorer. Now, you saw me talk about add ons in Firefox, but statistically speaking, Internet Explorer is still the most widely used browser out there. Now, I don't personally use it, but after finding some of these add ons, I think I might just start. Don't believe me? Let's get started, guys. Check this out. So, now, we've already talked about briefly what add ons are. And uh, essentially, the add-ons that come with uh, Internet Explorer uh, come in uh, three different flavors. You've got uh, accelerators, which just kind of speed up your browsing, uh, your browsing habits. You've got your toolbars, which sort of cram a bunch of different functionality all into one. And uh, then you've got your standard fare, things like a uh, YouTube video converter and uh, one of my personal favorites, Cool Iris, which I mentioned on the Firefox episode, but they got it for IE2, so check that out. So now, where you're going to get these add-ons is at a place called ieaddons.com. Who would have guessed it? Uh, so I've got the page up here right now, and you can see that uh, they're all uh, laid out uh, just by what you want to search for, email, photo, video, things of that nature. I'm just going to pick one at random here, just the first one, show you the ease of install, and that's going to be the MTV Entertainment News. I'm a music guy, so hey, why not? So click on Add to Internet Explorer, click on Add to Favorites bar, and uh, boom, there you go. You see it right there up in my favorites bar, MTV News. So that's how you add those add-ons from there. Now, one of the cooler ones that I actually found previously was one called Truvio. And I'm really stoked on this one because what this one does is uh, really simplifies your video search. And uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So let's pick a video at ran or a website at random here. And by random, I mean butterscotch.com. And... Uh, Let's say uh, we've got Andrew Moore Crispin on Gadget TV. He's talking about uh, the AnyLoop Cairo hands-on, and apparently lithium-ion batteries are involved. Well, I want to look at some videos of some lithium-ion batteries. So that's what I'm going to do now. So what you do, highlight it, and that's going to bring up a little blue box right here. You're going to click on that, and you'll see Browse with Truvio Video Search. If I just hover over that, you're going to see a preview pop up. So now what it's going to show you is like basically every video that's tagged with lithium-ion battery in it. And not only do you get the preview, but you can actually click on it, and it will take you to the website itself. Gives you a way bigger, uh, way bigger screen to look at, a little bit easier on the eyes, but that preview is really cool too. But there you can see a bunch of video, videos tagged with lithium-ion battery. And they give you the sources too, such as Revision 3, YouTube, MSNBC, things of that nature. Anyways, very cool add-on and really sped up my video searches. Uh, now... This one is the one I was talking about previously. I think this is the one that's actually going to turn me into a bona fide Internet Explorer user. Let the hate mail begin. But it's called IE7 Pro. IE7 Pro is awesome, guys. Don't let the name fool you. Um, so basically what we're going to do is just pull up where to grab it from. And again, very clever URL name. It's ie7pro.com. That's where you're going to get it. Install is really easy, and it's uh, pretty intuitive, actually, once you start, uh, once you start uh, using the program itself. Now, two of the, the add-ons that I'm going to show you that come with this, because there are many on here, um, is, uh, again, going to take you back to the random uh, butterscotch video here. And again, I've got this obsession with lithium-ion batteries for some reason. Uh, I've got it highlighted here. So rather than having to copy, paste, open up a new tab, any of, anything of, uh, like that, I highlight the word, drag it anywhere on the screen, you're going to see another tab open. Uh, my search provider in this particular case is Google. So they're pretty cool, right? You can see my search results pop up both quickly and conveniently, giving me those Google search results for the lithium-ion battery. Now, another cool thing that IE7 Pro offers are mouse gestures. Now, what those do are allow you to uh, access certain functionality that you can configure yourself just with a, uh, a mouse gesture. Uh, it's in the name. So now what we're going to do is hold down the right uh, button of your mouse, and then you make with the gesture. Now, IE7 Pro has a bunch of pre-configured gestures in there, but you can go in and edit those anytime you want, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But first, let's show you the coolness. So we'll close this down. We'll go back to our random butterscotch site. And then what I'm going to do is a simple right to left motion, and you can see that that opens up a new tab for me. Well, I don't actually have my glasses on, so I need to make that text a little bit bigger. Now, how I'm going to do that is going to go greater than... And you can see that that is slowly but surely making my text bigger. So you don't have to do that control plus, plus, plus. You never have to take your hand off the mouse. Very cool. Shrink it back down. It's too big. Going to go less than, less than, less than. So uh, one thing you can do, like I was saying earlier, is configure your own mouse gestures. So I'll show you how to do that right now. And in the lower right-hand corner of the uh, Internet Explorer window, you're going to see the preferences for IE7 Pro. 
So you're just going to double click that, head up to mouse gestures, and uh, see what they got free here. So we'll go down up, and we'll set our action to actually get to the preferences for IE7 Pro just to make it a little more convenient. Now you can also see right up here uh, that you can show the mouse trails, which are, uh, you actually need, or I personally need, to make sure I'm doing it right. And you can actually change the color as well. Small thing, but very cool. So we're going to click on OK. And then what you're going to see me do is do the down and then up. And that's going to bring up in my preferences, just like that. Easy peasy, guys. Like I was saying at the beginning of the show, I'm not currently an Internet Explorer user, but after seeing these add-ons, I think I might start. Well, guys, that's today's show. For these add-ons and all the other pimps we've talked about, make sure you head over to butterscotch.com and check out those show notes. I'm Lucas. Keep it unique. See ya!